Sup shitters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Kenneth Perrin. If we switch over to here, the track is titled Free. This is the Ride in Nature video version of um, this track. We've got lyrics and music by Kenneth Perrin, music also by John Trujillo, 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 Trujillo. I, I, I struggle with that name, but I know it's not Trujillo. It's a tricky name, produced by Kenneth Perrin and John Trujillo. Trujillo. Uh, Blind Oblivion Songs, Ace Cap and Earth Tone Worldwide Music, BMI 2021, Pneumatic Records. And this is off the uh, Blind, Oblivion, Blind Oblivion album, the Deluxe Edition, which I'm fairly happy to say this is off of an album. So well done, Kenneth Perrin, on the album. We are going to be listening through this track from start to finish to hear what we think. Let's go. I'll just put myself into there. Cool. Oh, we've got a kind of a jazzy, lo-fi kind of tone to it. It's nice to hear the uh, the guitar. Or nice to see the guitar, sorry. It's very pretty, isn't it? Some nice coloration among these clean tones. The vocal, backing vocals here of a choir, like pad light thing. Nice place for the vocals to enter. Very very succinct and to the point, easy entrance, distinct color, you know, distinct texture from the other elements of the mix, well equalized, good, good. Nice vibrato to the vocals as well, eh? Guy's got solid vocal technique. Nice stereo panning of the uh, vo panning of the guitars as well, as well as the slide stuff that we can hear. But this time, love is really my true friend. Oh, Some bends on the sides, nice the break there. Way. Can't tell if there's a parallel major or not. There was an interesting seventh harmony we had for a moment there. He's got his hands, like, it's making me anxious how close his, his picking hand is to the keyboard, like. Oh, it's so close, though. Ah, this is more relaxing. Wouldn't want him to bang his hand on the keyboard. These jazzy harmonies are kind of sweet and lovely. They're very interesting as well. Like, kind of pulls you into music a little bit without being pretentious. I am ready to start all over again. Yeah. Dunno, man. But this time, there won't be no end. No, no, no. Oh, nice little emphasis on that no, no, no part there. Sounds like there's a, there's a, there's a back, those vocalists are surrounding you. Lovely chord note groove on the drums as well with the hi-hat, the kicks and snares, and those fills kind of break it up between the sections. I love the, the the nature vibe with this. It does make you feel as if you're free. It does show that visual element and it's a nice overall multimedia experience. An audio visual experience to say. Lovely little crescendo there, that ascending, that ascension through the scale.
is it time because I've had enough. So like, were they in a situation where they wanted to escape and they couldn't for a while and they finally had their opportunity to break free of that situation? Oh, going to the head voice, that falsetto. Very well handled though. I've started to do some singing lessons, so I'm starting to learn the absolute basics of vocal technique and I can tell this guy's got it all sorted. Lovely guitar work, the lead work's really fun. It's a sensational song. This is very well written, you have, you know, really fun, interesting textures in there with the harmonies, the percussion is a great accompaniment to the rest of the instruments, whilst well, having its own identity. Um, Kenneth, as a vocalist, is again distinct in the mix. You can hear him nice and clearly. And the story that he's telling is interesting, I think, accessible to a lot of people who want to escape, who, who want to escape from the the places they're in. It's kind of sad that so many of us want to escape the issues we have, but that's the world we live in at the moment, I suppose. Um, I've, I, I'm, I'm trying to sort of like make these conclusions more succinct, because sometimes I sort of prattle on a bit. So let's just try and go through the different parts of the song in a way that's sort of structured and this is potentially a new thing for future reviews but i'm going to try and make it work okay so yeah i think i've spoken about the story my understanding of the story of the song is that it's about finding freedom in your life and not allowing yourself to be tied down by anyone or anything and it's about the joy that you can find it despite the, the technical difficulties involved it's being able to get away with it and okay, from find your own identity and your own sort of freedom. And, and the music sounds like that quite a lot, you know? The music is nice and open. There's never any moments that are particularly claustrophobic. There's open chords. The rhythm is fairly gentle, you know, like, and the vocals are nice and sort of caring and tender as well. The melodies that were sung by the vocals were fantastic. They are lovely and charismatic and energetic. And I think that the singer, Kenneth, emoted really well throughout this track. I, I think that it was very appropriate for the the story and, and the texture of the music and, and, and like the, the direction it was supposed to be going. The, the songwriting is structured, you know, you had the typical verse chorus, you had some interlude parts and mystery and all breaks, but it was your typical kind of ABAB, maybe an ABC structure. I think that would very well for a song that was below four minutes. The instrumental performances were fantastic. Each track, each instrument had its own sort of niche that it fitted into and they interacted well with each other and you had the fundamentals laid down in regards to how so the bass and the drums worked. The, the guitars and some of the keys and maybe some organ bits and the vocals and, and, and like that, they were just stunning and the role of fourth harmonies was paid close attention to. You had stuff in the highs, the mid highs, the mid lows and the lows. It was a nice well balanced sound. And I suppose to top it off, the production, the recording mix and mastering was, sen was sensational. I think everything was recorded fairly crisply. I think there was... It wasn't overly compressed or anything like that. There was a fair amount of dynamic range and um, the equalization, the effects changed. It wasn't super saturated with effects for the most part, but it was glued together really, really well. And I think overall, you know, despite the efforts that YouTube makes to compress the hell out of anything that people upload onto the website, it was a really stunning song that I had a lot of fun with and that I kind of relate to because I want to. You know, I, I want to I want to escape from some of the situations I'm in, and I so I can relate to this, and I can understand how blissful it would be being able to sort of get away from that and go on your own journey for the first time in a while. Um, so I think this song basically nailed all the key elements there. There were no particular areas where I had issues with. You know, there were some interesting chromatic parts that I wasn't expecting in the harmony, and I just enjoyed the fact that we none of the parts were too basic. There was a little bit of nuance and ornamentation in certain parts of the guitarists and the keys and the drums and stuff. So it was overall a really great effort. But effectively, this was my review of Free by Kenneth Perrin. Man, that was a succinct review, wasn't it? We got to listen through the whole song and I didn't sort of like go on and on and on. I, I like the way of doing these conclusions. I'm going to do this in future. Anyone watching this is probably going to be like, wait, how did you do it before? <laughs> But it's, it's okay. The main thing is here is if you enjoyed this music, please do go check out Kenneth Perrin's uh, various um, social medias and YouTube page. Again, I think um, the album that's that's out, if, if it's not already out, it will be out soon, is Blind Oblivion, you know, that this track is off, as well as many others, which I assume, given the quality of this track, will probably be good as well. So feel free to go check those out if you're interested. 
Stay cool and stay safe, and please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As any of the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch you in the next review. Spider hands out. <laughs>